All right. I think I'm ready for you now. I certainly hope so. <laughs> now, this is our exercise segment. Normally, our traditional exercise is line dancing, but today you're going to show us some other things. Right. And, and how to keep healthy. So what am I supposed to do now? Okay. Well, we're going to, what I'm going to talk about are things that you can do right, right now. Okay. So every, people don't realize that how they sit, stand, walk, how they drive their car, those are really exercises because they're all repetitive. Mm -hmm. And if you're not doing it correctly at the end of the day or the end of the week, yeah, your back starts hurting yeah, like this. It should not be like that. <laughs> so the first thing I want you to do is I want you to sit in the chair okay. for me. And what I see on the street, we're going to talk about driving the car. So sit for me how you drive the car, which is really fantastic here. You got your head is forward, you got a death grip on the steering That's wheel, right. you know, which is really bad. And then if you were to add to it what the kids are doing where they're all they're sitting in the back seat like driving this. in the front. Yeah, my, right. my daughter does that. That's yeah. not what you want to do. You want to sit up okay. and you want to have your hands when the, when you were taking driver's ed, it was um, two, two and, and ten. ten. Okay? Yeah. But when you're at two and ten, it puts a lot of pressure and strain up in Correct. here. So I would prefer you be at three and six. Okay. Now, I do have some patients who have problems with their neck and their upper back. So we, don't, we go from three and six, we go to four or five, mm -hmm. and whatever's on the other side. Right. All right. So to this try to take that stress off of that. I kind of drive like this now. Okay. Um, more than I do up here. Right. Now, if it looks like I'm in bad traffic, then I go up here and, right. you know, you're... And when you do that, all the forces from your hands, which we talked about the death grip, travels all the way up the arms to the neck, mm -hmm. and eventually it's going to make things real tight up in here. And what's going to happen is as you're driving, your head is going to start to creep up so that you're looking down your nose. Right. Okay? Which is real bad for the neck and the upper back, and that contributes to why eye strain and also headaches. Okay. All right? So you really want to make sure that you're your head is up over your shoulders and your arms and shoulders are relaxed. Okay. Now, when you're at your desk, it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. You want to have your head up. So if you're working on a laptop and it's too far away from you or even a desktop, that head is going to come forward. Well, you know, I, the, the thing I found with the desktop is that it's too high. Exactly. You know, you're looking up like this a lot of times and I have literally positioned off the desk my monitor so that I could look down just off the keyboard. I, you know, I can which, just look up. And which I is great, but that's also usually the opposite. Most keyboard monitors are too low. Okay. So we get that little box stand that we put on the desk to put the monitor on top so that you're looking straight ahead at it. Got it. The other really bad thing that I find out about when I talk to people about their desk and their workstations are the monitor's over here, the keyboard's over here, and what they're typing's over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they're going all over the place. Yeah. Oh, that, yeah. And then and <laughs> pretend you're on the phone. Uh, that's so, right. So you add that to it too. <laughs> you know, I'll be seeing you three times a week for a couple of years <laughs> if you keep doing that. So it's about balance. Yeah. So you want to have a headset at your desk okay. or use the speaker phone. Or don't do two things at once. You're on the phone, you're on the phone. You're on the computer, you're on the computer. So what do I do now to kind of get that tension okay. It's the same thing. You bring those shoulders down Got and it. the arms are straight. But then there are some exercises that you want to do. Okay. One of the things you want to do is if everything you're doing is combating, is, is working everything up and forward, you want to open it up. So you put your arms out straight, palms up like you have two glasses of water, and you mm -hmm. do backwards arm circles. You can do five or ten of those once an hour stretches the muscles in front and brings that head back up. Mm -hmm. That's a great exercise. Okay. Um, if you start to feel that now your head's feeling kind of heavy and your arms are sore and your shoulders are tight, well then you do the opposite. You bring your hands in front of you, you interlock your fingers, and as you breathe out you gently push your hands away. Mm -hmm. That's a real great stretch to work out up in here. Mm -hmm. And you can have fun with this one too. You can lean one wrist a little bit mm -hmm. like you're driving. You do the other one and that's going to stretch from the shoulders all the way across. Oh yeah. Okay? And these are things that you can do at your desk. It takes 30 seconds to do it and it's going to make a big difference. Now if you've been sitting for an hour or so, your low back's going to start to get tight. Mm -hmm. So you want to stretch that out. So if you slide out your body towards the edge of the chair a little bit and you have the chiropractor's permission to slouch. A little bit more gently, but yes, you can slouch. <laughs> when you get there, then I want you to push your belly forward and arch your back a bit and go the other way and then go back again. So what you're doing is you're moving your lumbar spine, that okay. very bottom portion here, back and forth front to back. You add some breathing to it and that's a real good exercise to get that lower back moving again to try to fight all that time that you've been sitting and compressing and compressing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's say at the end of the day you're also having some stuff going down your legs whether it's sciatica or it's muscle pain mm -hmm. you want to stretch the muscles in the buttocks. Mm -hmm. So I would like you to cross your ankle over your knee. 
Okay? And then all you do from this position is you lean forward at the camera. And when you do that, you feel that pulling in the back of your thigh. Yeah. And you've got the camera there, so you want to keep your head up. Okay? And you maintain that position for 30 seconds. That's a great stretch to get into the lower back and the hips. Okay? And you always do both sides. So you would Let's switch Let's see if I can that. do the left. Let's see if you can do the <laughs> left. Everybody it ain't working. A <laughs> little less force. Uh, but everybody does have one leg that may be a bit tighter right. than the other. So you just work on it. And you take your time with it. And what you'll find after a week or two of doing this, that it starts to balance easier, out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? So that's really the sitting stuff. Okay. So now stand up for me. All right. So when we, when we stand and we talk about our posture, if I could get you to turn this way, what you want to do is you want to make sure that your ears are up over your shoulders. So mm -hmm. you bring your head back and then you let the shoulders relax. And you want to bring your hands back a bit so that the hands are on the outsides of your pants. Just like that. All right. So when the head is up over the shoulders, there's less pressure and forces from gravity affecting the muscles in the upper back and also the lower back. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's ears back, shoulders down. So what I recommend to my patients is that whenever you see your reflection in a mirror, a picture, um, a window as you're walking down the street, recheck your posture. Mm -hmm. The more often you do that, the less there should be to change and that's going to get that habit back to where you're standing more correctly. Yeah, and we tend to do this particularly when we're tired. We, we, it, we fall out of posture. Exactly, because at, by the end of the day, you fall into your old patterns. Yeah. Okay? So that's the standing thing. Now, if you're moving, mm -hmm. so you can turn it back and face the front way. Um, when we do our yard work and our activities, um, we tend to do things more one way than the other because we're stronger in that direction. Yeah. And that becomes an unbalanced activity. So you just keep going this way, you keep going this way, right. and that leads to problems. So I tell my patients to switch and spend some time going the opposite way. Yeah, it just doesn't feel right. <laughs> which, is which is what I was going to say. It doesn't feel right, which means you have to slow down and you can't move as much in the, to the to one way as you do to the other. So that protects you a little bit from injury. Mm -hmm. Now, if you were having hip, knee, or foot problems, what I yeah. would tell you is to do a dance when you do it. Okay. You pivot one way, and then you dance, and you pivot the other way. You don't have to bounce, and I'm not going to, but you go back and forth okay. to get things going. So that's raking, sweeping, vacuuming, shoveling snow, all of the things that we do all the time. Right. We don't think about it, about being balanced, because we just want to get finished. And sometimes even carrying equipment, too. Exactly. I, I actually do catch myself in doing that sometimes because I know that the equipment sometimes is heavy, and if I do it with the same arm all the time. Yeah. Right. Which brings up one more thing, if I can go back to the car. Mm -hmm. You drive a three-hour trip for your vacation. You, everything's in the car. You get there. You're finally you're tired. You, what do you do? You jump out of the car. You run in the trunk, and you grab everything. <laughs> your body's not ready for it yet. Okay. Leave it there. Go in. Check into the hotel. Meet whomever you're meeting. Once your body is kind of used to standing, then you go back and you catch mm -hmm. your things. When you're carrying things, three trips may be more annoying than two, but you know, there's a less chance of you hurting yourself when you're doing things in small increments. We have to think sometimes and slow down before we do things. Okay. All right. Now, movement, arms. What was the other one you told me to try? Balance. Balance. Keep your head up. And go, shoulders back. And go into both sides. Use both sides of your body. That's why you uh, have to. All right. Now, if our audience does this, they're going to be less prone to pain and injury. Correct? I would say less prone to injury. The pain may still be there, but at least they'll be doing it a little bit better. All right. Well, try some of these exercises on your own. I bet they'll make a difference in your life.